Hey y'all, welcome back to Rolling with Stone. It's Stone here coming to show you guys how I got this smoky eye look using shadow shields. And shadow shields are apparently now in Walmart, so yay. So this is what shadow shields looks like. So it comes in this nice cute little shape that fits right under the eye and as you can see it has like adhesive at the back so if you take the little papers off and then it's sticky so you just want to stick it directly under the eye and on this one I took all the papers off and it adheres really really tight to the skin and on that one I only took the papers off of the top part that way you see it'll be a little bit easier for me to manipulate and take it off at the bottom because the other one was like stuck like really stuck like it's gonna take a little bit to try to get it off so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eye using the Palladio um, eyeliner the eye cold creamy side and just blending it out with a flat shader brush and I wanted to do a dark smoky eye to show you guys like exactly how precise these shadow shields can um, get your eyeshadow look. And you know basically what it's going to do is give you a clean eyeshadow look when you have like that crisp line and it's going to keep you from getting fallout and everything like that. So after I blend out the, um, the crease I go ahead and put a warm brown color which is Saddle by MAC and that's what I'm blending in the crease. And then I'm popping Carbon, which is a very deep black color by MAC as well. And I'm going to go ahead and pack that all over my lid, making sure I keep it underneath Saddle, which is the brown color. And usually when I do a smoky eye or something, I always do the eyes before the foundation just to keep from having fallout. But um, with these shadow shields, you get a nice clean look. I would still do eyes before foundation even if uh, you were using the shadow shields only because you don't want the stickiness from the, from the paper to pull off your foundation. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows and then I'm going to clean up the bottom with a little bit of concealer just to finish off the look. And my concealer is also going to kind of serve as like my brow bone highlight color. Just like a neutral fleshy tone color and maybe a couple shades lighter than my skin tone. But just like a fleshy tone color for the most part. So this is the final look after I pop on lashes. So as you can see there's no fallout underneath the eye because the shadow shield actually was able to catch that fallout. And that's it. Now I was sent this product for review but this is my honest opinion of how this, um, the shadow shields work. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.